Hello everybody, uh, welcome back. We are here again at Farm Sanctuary with Brooke this time. But we're doing something a little bit different today. If you remember last time, we took a little tour around the farm, saw some animals. But today, we're putting in the work. Yeah, you are. We're gonna be working the farm. Mika's here also. Hi, <laughs> I am here. I'm ready to get dirty. I think we should get right to it. You know, they're they're waiting for us. They are waiting right now. I heard we're putting sunscreen on pigs today. Yes, you are. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Well, let's yes. do it. All right, great, <laughs> let's, let's, let's go. So Brooke, what do you do here at Farm Sanctuary? I am the manager of wellness. Cool. Um, so I'm a caregiver and mm -hmm. I take care of the animals in, on a daily basis, make sure everybody's happy and healthy and cool. well fed, and take care of them medically, anything they might need in terms of health care, um, pain management. We're going to start off in here, but we do need to grab some supplies that are going to be in our in our okay. office cool. over here. All right, cool. so let's are, grab are some. Are we allowed to come in? You're allowed, yeah. Oh, yes. <gasps> Who's There's this a cat? cat? Oh, yes, this is Boris. Hi, Boris. Boris. How many cats do you guys have? Because there was like a white one that we saw last time, we I think. three cats. Cool. Three cats, and you're gonna meet them all. It smells like food in here. Yeah, like, food? Like, well, like, like animal food. Animal food. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We are gonna need our syringes that have a medication in them. And we have a, a leg brace here for Regina, our okay. three-legged sheep. All right. All right, you ready? I'm ready to go. All right, I'm ready great. to get Let's to work. Do this. Let's head over Let's. to the sheep barn. There are a few sheep that are out already because they've had some. <laughs> <laughs> already? She had a mash earlier, which is why she's got a green face. <laughs> is there a certain way that you want us to approach any of the animals? Yeah, it's a little bit more involved. Um, they're going to be really excited to come out of the barn. <laughs> Hi, good morning. <laughs> That's Snuggles. Hi, Snuggles. Hi, Snuggles. Yeah, I know <laughs> we're holding up your breakfast right now. Hi. <laughs> I know. Oh, sweet. <laughs> I would just say if they move away from you, um, just don't go. push it, let yeah. them go. Right now they're going to be pretty focused on food yeah. um, and just coming out of the barn and starting the day. Whoa! Um, oh, embarrassing. <laughs> Gotta go back. We're going to put out some hay into these feeders. So let's, Great. Let's, we can hang up our supplies on these okay. hooks over here. I will take that. I'm so excited <laughs> for you. All the animals here are so cute. I love animals so much. Alright, so basically we're going to grab this wheelbarrow that's over here okay. and wheel it in and just put the flakes of hay into the feeders over here. So you want to grab that wheelbarrow? This one? Yeah. Good job, babe. Thanks, I'm helping, I'm helping. <laughs> okay. Okay, and we're gonna clear out all the old hay from the bottom of these. Okay. So you put one flake in each one, so that's perfect. And then you kind of fluff it up a little bit, open it up a little bit. That. Ooh. Looks delicious, doesn't it? Oh yeah. So good, so yummy. Yeah, just doing a hard day's work out here on the farm. <laughs> How long you been out here? Me? Yeah. Since I was born. How long have you been working here, Brooke? I just recently celebrated my 10 year anniversary. 10 years, congratulations. Yes, thank you. How many of these do you guys go through a day? A do you think? day? Um, I would say we go, the um, flakes make up a bale of hay, and I would say for the sheep, we go through a little less than a bale every day. Um, for the cows, we go through like sometimes six. Cool. And this is like their full day food. They just eat they're, this. They're gonna get this again tonight too. Oh wow! Oh, okay. Yeah, they get this hay twice a day. We're also out of flakes. For okay, that. we're uh. gonna need some more flakes. Yes. So who are those two? Um, those are Ada and Malala. Malala. They just need extra calories, so they get um, mashes every morning. Ooh. Howdy. You wanna take one of these flakes? Yeah. I'll take one of those. Now do we release? Now we're gonna give a couple of them some meds. Okay. And then we're gonna release cool. release our friends. Hello! Hi! Hi everybody! Good yeah. morning! Oh, we have to clean Bear's boogers. Oh. 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 There they go, there they go. They're out, they're out, they're oh. out. It's okay. <laughs> the rest of this stuff can happen later. They are ready to start the day. That's Bear, and she's got boogers. boogers on her nose. She's got chronic nasal discharge, so yeah. we clean the boogers from her face every day. Can I give you this? Yes. Do you want one of us to clean the boogers, or do you want to clean the boogers? I want you to clean the boogers. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to clean it? No, you, want you me to clean. clean the boogers. All right, I'll clean the boogers. Just give her a wipe? Yep, yeah, you just wipe the boogers Hi. off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get it all out. Get all those boogies out. 
Whoa, there you go. There good you go. one. Let it that out. That was really good. Do they just like travel up this hill during the day? And yeah, they can, they, they can go all the way up there. Um, we've got like a play structure up there. We've got yeah. uh, grass that we grow up there too. And you guys have, what is 200 acres or something? Here, um, it's or? actually 26 acres. Okay, it's New yes. York that has them. Or How maybe I'm making these York? things up. How many what? Acres is New York. I think like 400. 400. Oh. All right, Ada and Malala are gonna go start their day right now. So we're just gonna kind of get let out of their away. way and let them out. Malala does get a, a syringe. Which one is Malala? Malala is with the droopy ears and the wool right there. Very cute. <laughs> Good job. There you go. All right, now they're just gonna wanna go start the day. <laughs> There's another little group in here that we're in gonna let In this store? Mm-hmm. Come on out. I know, you don't recognize me. I'll get out of your way. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> I love how they run. <laughs> this is Pearl. She's probably ahead, Pearl. like the most wary, so we might just wanna. There Bye, Pearl. Go. Bye, Pearl. And then we've got the last stall over here, mm -hmm. which is um, Biscuit, who's our blind sheep. Okay. Oh, Biscuit. And um, Regina, who's our three-legged sheep. Biscuit, we don't we don't want to go in there with him because we don't want to spook him too much. Right. Um, so we're going to open this up and let them come out on their own. Hey, Biscuit. Biscuit. And then Regina. Hi, Regina. three-legged sheep. Oh, look at him go. Biscuit. So Regina is one of the most labor intensive in terms of care, just because she um, she only has three legs, so we need to put a, a brace on her, and okay. then she also has a sore on her keel from the way that she sits. So we have to cover that every day with a bandage, and then she's got a t-shirt on over top to keep the bandage on. Gotcha. Um, and she gets a syringe too. We are gonna give her the syringe and put her brace on and um, treat her keel. Cool. Yeah. All right, great. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, Regina. Stretching. How old is Biscuit? Biscuit's still pretty young. He's still got some baby teeth, so he's <laughs> only a few years old. I like Biscuit. Look at him. He's so happy. Hi. Hi, Biscuit. <laughs> Hi, Regina. Hi, Regina. All right, Regina is like the most patient of patients, too. She's yeah. such a good girl. So every day we clean her, the straw off of her leg. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Make sure she doesn't have a lot of urine on her leg. Clean it up if it needs to be cleaned up. And we put um, this brace on it. Mm -hmm. Regina, you're so good. Yeah, Regina. She's such a good girl. Whoa, 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 whoa. She's got like a really good defense mechanism, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How often do you get pooped on? Oh, all the time. Every day? Yeah. I mean, pretty much. Yeah. A lot of times by her. <laughs> so is this brace specifically made for sheep? Oh, yep, it's it's custom made for her. Oh, wow. Only the best. Whoa. She's, she's really good at doing um, handstands. Hand yeah, wow. She likes her syringe. You can give this to her. Um, Do you want to give it to her? Sure. Basically just squirt it into her mouth. Hi, Regina. You want this? Oh, my gosh. You really do like it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and then we take her uh, shirt. Her little jacket off. Shirt off. So underneath. There is a, yeah, yeah. a wrap Whoa. in there, so we'll be um, changing the wrap today. Does Biscuit get anything special? He does get special things for sure. On a regular basis, he gets music therapy. <gasps> um, what music does he like? Um, you know, I'm not sure what his favorites are, um, but we go in there and spend time with him, oh. just listening to different kinds of music. He might be expensive a little bit. <laughs> Bye, Biscuit. Bye, Biscuit. All right, and she's ready. She's done. Ready good to job, go for Regina. the day. You did great. You did real good, Regina. Next, um, we are going to go to the goats. Ooh, I love yeah. goats. Mika All grew right. up with a goat. I did. Yeah? His name was Ike. We would put a leash on him, and he would run us down the road on our skateboards. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Hello. Who are these? Oh, we've got some puppies. <gasps> Hi. <laughs> oh, my oh, goodness. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fun pups for the pups. So what are the pups' jobs? <laughs> to poop a lot. <laughs> no, the puppies, um, some, somebody dumped them here. <gasps> Um, so they are already they already have places where they're gonna be going. Those cute oh, little good. things. Yeah. Babe, what do you think so far? What are you thinking about? You can put this in your pocket if you want. Might so be many better. animals. Got a Randy mash <gasps> and a Freddy mash. 
There you go. Wow. <laughs> so what is this Brandy comprised of? Freddy. These are oat pellets and rice bran pellets. And then I'm guessing this is how you give them their medicine? That's all of Randy's medications yeah. in bananas. Would oh. you say that goats are your favorite? <laughs> Do you see the pigs? They're huge. Big man. They oh, yes, are... that's Junip over there. Hi, Junip. Right. <laughs> are they huge? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> So we've got some goats in here. Randy is gonna get this gigantic mesh with all the meds okay. in it. So he's gonna stay in the barn. He's with the big horns over here. Wonderful. Oh, so, hey, oh. Buddy. Yeah. He's you large. wanna bring that mesh in here? And then you can start feeding him the bananas. And then the rest of these guys are gonna wanna get out. Daddle on out of this barn. Go ahead. So if you just let them let them Good pass job, Randy. There you go, Randy. I like your horns. You are just, there we go, perfect. Freddy, this little dude over little here dad. is gonna get the little mesh. So if you wanna hey. bring that over into this little area oh, over okay. here. Not for you, I'm sorry, buddy. You can set it on the ground over okay. there. The goats sometimes get kind of stranger danger -y. So if you then just come back on over here, yeah. he will make his way in there, unless he's just untrusting of the situation. Which one's Freddy, the little? Freddy's the little guy. Little guy? <laughs> <laughs> he's got the same coloring as Spencer. Go ahead, get your mash, buddy. Like a little seesaw. There you go. It's pretty cool. Oh, he's too, he's too, he's too wary. He'll, he'll make his way over eventually. But right now, we can go hang out with Randy in the barn. How old is Randy? Randy is like about 20. Oh my 20? goodness. Is that really old for a goat? It is very old for a goat. This is um, an assisi loop. It's pain management. Oh. It uses electromagnetic pulse therapy to help with manage pain, and we put it on his uh, right rear right here. Yeah. It stays on for 15 minutes, and we basically just sit here with him for 15 minutes, twice a day. Nice. Um, do you want to hold this on yeah. here? Yeah. Okay, great. And we also groom him, too. So do you want to groom him? Well, yeah. Brandy gets the star treatment. Before he heads out, we put pain relief on his joints as well. So okay. just rub it into each of his joints a little bit, and I'll hold him. Your food smells great, Randy. Such a good boy, right? All right. Good job, Good Randy. job. Bye, Randy. And we got to give these guys hay, too. Whoa, hay for you guys? OK, so we're going to so split, impatient. split this up between, yeah, very impatient, between this long feeder here and then these bowls, too. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Did you eat yet? Freddy, are you going to come over Freddy, here? Freddy, you want to eat? Come on, Freddy. Go on, bud. Freddy! Go, go, go. You can do it. Good job, Fred. It's all for you. The red carpet's rolled out. A little out. shy, a little camera shy. Yes. Oh. Uh -huh. Premature? He's, he's reminds me a lot of Spencer. It's <laughs> like when we want Spencer to come inside. <laughs> no, this is specifically when we're going to bed and Spencer does not want to go to bed. Yeah. And we're like, Spencer, go. Please. And you have come to literally like herd him into the bedroom. We're basically just gonna walk through the pigs and say hello to them. Wonderful. Oh, yes. we're not doing anything with the pigs? Not right this second, no. Okay. Oh my goodness. This is Juniper, you said? Junip. 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 Hi. Hi Junip. So how much over and under would you say this pig weighs? Uh, about five hundred to six hundred pounds. Because when I came here the first time. I didn't realize that pigs got this big normally, mm -hmm. but I was told, hello. I was told that like normally they do get this big, but we just don't see them like that because usually they're killed before then, exactly. yeah? Exactly, they're, they're killed at a pretty young age. At like six months, right? Mm -hmm. But this is this is a full grown pig. Uh, yeah, she's full grown. Mm -hmm. And what kind of pig is this again? She is a, a mix of a Duroc. I'm not sure what else, but she's a Duroc mix. She's a little bit more like wild looking. Yeah. She was rescued from a uh, petting zoo. Oh, there's Von D right there. Von, Von D. Hi. Sorry Good morning. To wake you. Um, well, that's Morris right there. That's Lisa Turtle. And then this is Slater in the corner. So you are the early riser, Junip. She's the early riser. She's always <laughs> early riser. She likes to catch the worm out there. Did you want to go in there and say hi to anybody? Yeah. Ooh, I'll go in and say hi, if that's all right. Hello, everybody. <laughs> yeah. So this is Morris here. Hello, Morris. Oh. Hey, guy. Working hard or hardly working, bud. They'll be a lot more rowdy at breakfast time. Ooh, get that itch. Oh, Quick. yeah, get oh. that itch. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're going to go feed the cattle and donkeys. Hey, buddy. Hee-haw. <laughs> Albert's a lover. 
Wow. Oh, you look like a lover. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Is this your house, Albert? It's a nice house out here. And then we got these guys out here. These guys are from New York, from the Watkins Glen Sanctuary. Ooh. They took a cross-country trip adventure over here and live here now. Mm -hmm. Got your fly masks on? Yep, they've got fly masks on. I was about to ask what those are. Fly season has, has begun here, and they their, their eyes get pretty itchy. Yeah. If we don't cover them up. Are oh, you guys <laughs> nuzzling a little bit? Oh, oh hello, <laughs> in my ass. <laughs> So we're gonna basically corral these guys up the alleyway. Okay. Because they're all gonna eat up there. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's all go. All right, we're moving. We're moving and we're, we're moving. moving. There we we're go. We're moving and we're moving. Good job. Think Spencer could do this? <laughs> no. Let's go, let's go. Albert is very round. He, he is, he's <laughs> he a bit rotund. Round. He's a bit rotund. And Honky Tonk's up here, right? Honky Tonk is bound to be around somewhere, yes. Babe, you're gonna love Honky Tonk. Oh, and uh, hold on, don't tell me his name. Huge cow, starts with an S. Oh, uh, mm. Hold on. Uh, uh, I'll give you the chance. What is it? Saffron. Saffron. Yeah. I wouldn't have gotten it. Honky Tonk, what's up, my guy? Hey, buddy. Would you like? <laughs> Good job. All right, so we have to feed the cows and donkeys their hay. You are so huge. Large. It's insane. And he's like exceptionally big, correct? I mean, he's exceptionally big in that you just don't normally see that, but that's about as big as they would normally be yeah. getting. So we're going to go into this hoop house over here and get some hay. Hoop house. The black no. ones are a little bit shy. A little shy? Hi, Honky Tonk. Honky Tonk's not shy at all. No, nah, he's the greeter. So these we're bales are pretty heavy. We're gonna be oh, we're bales. gonna be putting these bales onto the hay cart. Whoop! Bah. All right. Hey, bud. Hi, Saffron. Hi, Saffron. Hi, Saffy. You're big. Wait, no, Saffron. No, Saffy. <laughs> Yeah, and I think it's a giant scratching post sometimes. Hold on! Hold Seven, on! Seven. wait! Please! <laughs> just drop one basically into here so okay. we can just like finagle it through one of the slats on its side. Perfect. Then one of you can go in there and use this knife to crack the, the bale open. Hey. There's three. Um, twine, bale twine. And then we're taking this over to a different one? Yes. I'm gonna start doing that before Sounds good. these Perfect. guys. And then you want me to just fluff this out? Yeah, you can just kind of put it around the edge. It doesn't have to be super fluffed, but just kind of broken up a little, and we want to make sure to get those three bale twines. I feel like I've made friends now. Like, maybe I can... What are all their names? Leo. Um... But donk a donk? I don't know what the donkey's names are. Hey guys. Yeah, got the good stuff. Delivered just this morning. Okay. All right, awesome. Good job. Do you want to ride on it? Do you want to ride on it? No, do you want to ride on it? No, do you want to ride on it? No. <laughs> Here, I'll ride on it. Hey, that's fresh a really feed. good idea. <laughs> fresh feed, cowboy, come get your food. Saffy, we got a fresh one for you. New itching post. Just God, came in. I don't like being right down here. <laughs> Oh, oh, God. <laughs> are we going to be doing anything with the horses? Well, yeah, we are going to be feeding them. Mm -hmm. Cool. We're going to go in here. This is our horse tack area. So we're going to be preparing the mashes for the horses. We are going to be putting uh, pellets into these um, containers. How many of these? All of them? Um, or just the, these four? The, the blue, this blue one here is going to be for Honky Tonk. And then the rest of the three, about that much in okay. each. If you want to put it in there and then the next two as well. Just a little bit of food, you know? Just a little bit. Just a little bit of food, you know? You know. Cool. One time? Cool. Just a little yeah. bit of food. And then we're gonna add some Wait, stuff. Wait, hold on, one more time? Oh, it's just a little bit of food. Get out of your way. I'm so sorry, one more time. Oh, just a little bit. And then some probiotics for the horses as well. So, cool. do a little switcheroo in the red and the green bucket. Just one of these? Yep. All right. Now we just leave those there? We leave those there. We'll be giving them out a little bit later. I'm gonna drive the John Deere tractor. That thing's sick. I wanna get in the bucket. <laughs> Got one of these babies at home. Drive this to work every day. Yeah, why don't you tell me about this guy? It's good on gas. Yeah? Yeah, because it uses diesel. All right, we're moving back on down this way. Down this way. Yes. Cool. Hello. So we're going to pass through. We're going to let Randy goat out from, from eating his mash. Cool. And then uh, pretty much we're going to go down to the birds. Ooh, Feed all the birds. Bird time. Open up the birds, medicate them. All the turkeys and 
The turkeys and the chickens. The chickens. Hey, hi. Hey, cutie. Oh. Hello. Someone else is awake. Who is this? That's Lisa Turtle. Lisa. Bodum, bodum, bodum. Worm? Who? Worm? Huh? Who? Why? Where am I? Bodum, 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 bodum. Oi! <laughs> we go into the birds now. If you can save, very quietly, obviously, who's your favorite sheep? Oh, my favorite sheep. <laughs> we won't tell. Very quietly. Oh, that's so hard because there's so many good ones. Yeah. I I'm quite partial to Snuggles, the one who who came out first and greeted us. Look at the cutest little wrinkly nose. <laughs> the least favorite. <laughs> who's the biggest pain in the ass? <laughs> Nobody. They're all wonderful. <laughs> Is there a particular type of animal that you really like spending time with? Um, I love spending time with the chickens. Yeah. yeah. They're so entertaining to just like sit there and hang out and watch. Yeah. Yeah, they've got so much personality. Well, let's go see them. Yeah, yeah I'm ready. All right, we're going to start off. We have three different aviaries. Okay. This one's called Globe Theater. And we have a turkey tom in here and two roosters. Oh. Okay. So this is the boys club over Ooh. here. It's a little frat house. Yes. So we're going to grab their food, which is in here, ready to go. And we have to add some medication to this bowl here. So basically, we're going to be putting the medication that Bowie's on into grapes. And then Ooh. putting the grapes into his bowl. So you said there's two roosters and a, and a turkey? Yes, two roosters and a turkey tom. He's the only male turkey we have. Turkey right Tom. What kind of meds are these? So most of those are antibiotics, mm -hmm. um, but he's also on a pain medication as well um, for a, a potential infection that he has in one of his hawks. This is going to be for Bowie, and that's going to be for the roosters. The rooster boys get a little feisty sometimes. Okay. Their food goes in these bowls, so you can put one there, and then the other over here. Like spread it out or put the bowl um, in? Just put the bowl in there. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes they spill them, which is why they're in the bigger ones. And they then... get a nice shaded area. It is nice and shady over here. We're going to let the two roosters out, and then we're going to feed Bowie his bowl inside. Okay. Barn. <laughs> I love the door pushing yeah. up. It's so good. I think that's Bowie. So we kind of have to keep Bowie in because he's the most jazzed to start the day. Hey, Bowie. Hey, bud. <laughs> so you're going to go over here. Little dinosaur. And he. Come on, mister. This way. If you want to bring that bowl of food in, that way he sees he's got his breakfast. And that's going to go right in here. Just set the bowl inside there and he'll start eating it. <laughs> there you go, buddy. And There's that's Eric. In that corner. There he's is very, a scent he's about very this place. <laughs> you know? And this is Dale. Hi, Dale. Bye, Dale. Did you know that you were once a velociraptor? <laughs> Recently? Yeah. Yeah. Specifically him. So now we're going to the hens? A lot of chickens are in the next. Aviary over there. We're gonna go say hello to them. And there's some more turkeys too. So what is this aviary called? This is called the Chico Aviary. Chico. It's named after a rooster who once lived in here named Chico. All right, so this is everything for them. Would you like? Oh, uh, thank mm. you. Mm. Okay, and I'll give you this. Cool. And we're gonna go into the first stall over here. Hi. Hello. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I know, right? Alexandra's gonna eat in here. This is for you, my friend. And then those can come outside. Ethan, <laughs> if you wanna set that bowl down on that mat for Oh, George. not for you. Okay. <laughs> and then you can walk over to the corner and set that down on, on the corner. Just See, on you, get the, you get the better looking stuff. Hey, <laughs> chill, 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 chill. And then we're just gonna close up this X pen and oh. let them eat Cordon in peace. Off. Look at that, you get a little bit of privacy. You get the corner room. The, the yes. VIP room. So we're basically gonna grab all of these containers and start carrying them over to the, the yard. Okay. I um, love that little bird container. Aren't these so like cute? So the, squirrel, the squirrels here are savages, so yeah. these are little squirrel, squirrel proof containers, but the squirrels still figure out how to use them. Yeah, and this is just all for the general pop? Yeah, it's for the gen pop. I love their little greenery. They have like plants and herbs. Yes, we just recently planted all these trees. So and got that lettuce grow. 
Okay. Um, okay. That one, so one of the, the bowls we make into a mash. And then the house will go over onto that hook over there. Are y'all ready for the chickens to leave the barn? Oh, then? I'm so ready. had some, some vision loss. Okay. He lives with a smaller flock now, and we have to put him in front of food and make sure he's eating every day. The chickens, aside from Rod, are gonna leave the barn, and we're gonna leave Rod inside the barn. We're, talk yeah. we're talking about the man, Rod. <laughs> yeah, Rod Stewart. <laughs> yeah, Rod Stewart's in here. That's Rod? That's Rod. That's Rod, That's Rod yeah. Stewart. King in a castle, king in a castle. Rod, put on a show, bud. All right, He's so. on stage. Rod Stewart needs a little bit of help eating, so I'm gonna grab his food from right out here. So he, he probably can't really see um, much of anything, maybe some light general shapes perhaps, but he can't see very well. Um, so we put him right in front of the food so he doesn't have to try at all. Um, hey, buddy. <laughs> there you go, Rod. He, like I was saying, he used to be the numero uno rooster over yeah. in the main flock. And he was kind of like the number one bully, um, but he got knocked down a peg a little bit, and he's, yeah. he's over in uh, in retirement retirement mode over here, Aww. living the good life. But look at you. Yeah. Look at you, Rod. Proud you don't you. need to be the, the top of the flock, you know? No, you you, you rest. I think he's faking it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Buzz Lightyear said, it's not falling. It's Wait, it's not flying, it's falling style. I don't remember the that line. That doesn't really <laughs> relate to this, but yeah. And then the rest of the chickens out there get this little house of food. So if you want to put that on the on the hook. You know what's going on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you got it. Yeah, you're a dinosaur. That's actually the star of Jurassic World Dominion. This is Chris Pratt. Very pretty. Hi, Chris Pratt. He's working on rehabilitating his image right now. So. Who's that? This is George. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, he goes by that. <laughs> Did you think his name was Chris Pratt? <laughs> Editors, make sure you put subtitles over that so everybody else understands, because like we know what we're saying, and the turkeys obviously do. You're very pretty. Very pretty, George. Well, where to now? Um, next is going to be the, the next aviary over, where we've got even right. more chickens, uh, a couple more turkeys. First, we're going to be feeding um, Serena and Thelma first. They're in here, they're two turkey ladies. We can go ahead and do that first. Turkey ladies? Do you think they're all a little bit upset because we're moving slower than than you usually would? I think they're they're typical. They're typical upset right now. <laughs> Good morning. Wow! Hi! Hey girls! They're like, where's our food? So I'm gonna feed one of you inside and one of you outside. Here you go, you can eat over here in this corner. This is how we should eat at home. How we should eat, you mm -hmm. and I? Yeah. It pretty much is how we eat. We both eat in our offices. <laughs> no, we don't. We eat in the kitchen all the time together. No, we don't. <laughs> you just have to move the door forward very, very, very slowly. Like very. in that way? Yep. Yep. We're moving. Uh -huh. Look out. <laughs> You're forcing your way out. There you go. Slowly but surely. Good morning, ladies. Oh, hello. I wasn't expecting these guys. Oh, are you talking about Stephen and King, the little Polish? Yeah. Come on out. Come on out, boys. <laughs> you want a new car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love him. So Stephen and King were getting picked on um, yeah. in the main flock, so they live with the with the bigger ladies. Do we need to let these guys out? Yeah, so this is kind of a fun thing. Can I do, do the fun thing? Yeah, so you need to go in there and mm -hmm. unlatch that gate and let them out. Okay. Um, so I usually take something with me as like a, a barrier okay. from Rodolfo's because he likes to get you. Oh, um, fun. Yeah, he's a he's a, the rudest rooster of all the roosters we okay. have. There's a latch on that gate that you'll okay. just turn and open it towards you and then the wall. Cool. Ah! <laughs> I'm afraid. Turn it and then pull the oh. metal latch towards you, yeah. Oh, turn it. Yep. Perfect. There we go. Go on, guys. And then just leave that wide open yep. and we're good? Mm -hmm. You're good. Cool. You managed to not get attacked by Rodolfo. I didn't. So Stephen and King eat inside the barn. So okay. I will take these from you. Cool. And then put Stephen and King inside the barn. Olive is um, one of our older hens who 
due to her large size, has sort of deformed feet. So she just needs a little bit of help out the barn every day. Oh, there you go, Olive. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Hi, ladies. Would you like a little bit? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm glad I was wearing gloves. Oh, my word. I hate how they do it. It's <laughs> oh. <laughs> so hey, aggressive. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Jocelyn said it's a school administrator walk. <laughs> all right, so they're all eating. And we'll go back over here and let Serena and Thelma back out with each other, cool. so. Hi, sorry, I have to take this. I, I have to take it, I'm sorry. There's something else in there. I have to take it. I'm sorry. Done with the birds. So, mostly done, yeah. They just need a couple other things, but I don't want to take away any of your chances to clean the oh. barns, too. Cleaning. If that's something that you want to do. The real manual labor. Yeah. I'm down for that. Do you want to do some goat barn cleaning? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Very down yeah. for that. Goat cleaning. Goat cleaning. We're ready to clean. I'm Chris. Hi. Hi, I'm Chris. I'm Ethan. Ethan. And Mika. Mika. And what was that? Mika. Mika. Nice yeah. to meet y'all. Do y'all want a mask for cleaning? It just gets dusty. I sometimes wear one, sometimes don't. It's just up to you. It's fine. If it starts to bother us, then it'll be funny for the video. Okay. Great. I didn't realize that the pigs had a big pool. Yeah, they, uh, they have a good life. Wow. Like it Soak it up. So yeah, so we can go grab the tools. Hi. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. You're really doing it. Yeah. I play Guitar Hero. This is our goat barn. Cool. Sure, y'all guys were in here today already, right? We were. Yes. General, you know, the way we do it is we'll kind of push everything into a pile with the rakes, use the pitchforks, put them in the buckets, and then when the buckets get full, we'll wait until all four are full, and then put them in the, uh, the, tractor. the truck. Yeah, the tractor. Um, and then after that, we'll do like a sweep of the floor, because we put down some stuff to help absorb the moisture, and we just mm -hmm. want to get that up, and then we'll put a fresh layer down and straw down a little bit later today. Cool. Cool. So yeah. Let's get to work. Yeah, that was pretty pro of you guys. That was good. Oh yeah, I've been doing this. Been doing this for about 15 minutes now. Do you have any pro tips for us for next time? A mask mm -hmm. is probably the thing, because when you do this all morning, it know, can get, it can build your, up. Your uh, your boogers are usually black all night. So yeah, mm. wonderful. I would say use the proper tool. Uh huh. Use a rake when you should rake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think all that's left is horse stuff and pig stuff. So I don't, I don't know what the time frame is for that, but. Yeah, should, should I radio Brooke and ask? Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay, so you can do that. The pigs know that it's breakfast time. <laughs> Let's go. I'm so excited. Who's gonna be feeding them? I would like to feed. Okay, so there's six different troughs that you'll go and dump the food in. Okay. You wanna get the, you don't wanna dump it when the pig is already there because their face is just gonna be, it's just gonna fall on their face. So you kinda wanna beat them to empty okay. troughs. And just move slowly. If you run, they will run. I'm gonna fill up the troughs. You distract them so they don't get... <laughs> no. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> nice. 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 Okay. A drive by. Uh, that was awful. <laughs> Torn. <laughs> it takes practice. Uh-huh. <laughs> there was like barely anything left. <laughs> Nicely done. All right, next is gonna be the zinc and we're gonna want like blue gloves for that. Okay, cool. So we zinc um, Von D and Junip's ears and we put sunscreen all over their bodies as well. So Von D we wanna go to first so while she's good and distracted by the food. Time for sunscreen. And so I go like in front of her with the trough in between us. Yeah. And so you're just gonna wanna get a dollop on your hand, uh, even a bigger dollop than that. I guess I'm overusing the word dollop. You're just gonna slather it all over her ear and even on her back too, it gets sunburned. <laughs> and you can go ahead and do um, Junip's ears. 
Oh, good. Okay. They do a lot of dancing back and forth and back and forth at the food troughs. They have a distinct hierarchy. Nobody messes with Von D. <laughs> oh, that's the stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Up, you got Morris coming in hot. <laughs> <laughs> Morris likes to pick on Junip. They kind of like fight over the, the second position in the hierarchy uh. here. Because Vondi is the matriarch and Junip is kind of her crony. Yeah. But Morris would like to be. So he picks on her when he can. Oh, he's coming. Did I get a good amount of sunscreen? That on looks her? perfect. Great. That's it for the for the zinc. Now then we're gonna spray, spray them. sunscreen all over Von D all right. and Junip too. But you probably can you can take your gloves off because they're pretty they're pretty gross after the zinc. Just Where are we spraying? You're spraying basically everywhere. Okay. Um, everywhere that hasn't been zinced. Just not her face. Okay. Yeah, uh. that's, that's that's what she does. She's a she's a whipper. How much sunscreen do you go through for Von D? Um. Probably between Von D and Junip, we go through uh, one of those cans every two to three days. Nicely done, nicely done. And then you can get Junip too. <laughs> You're sunscreening a pig. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> it almost feels like a prank in a way. Horse time. Horse time. Thank you so much again for letting us come and see what it's like to to work a day on the farm. Of course, thank you so much for coming. It's yeah. fun to have you here. Just, it should have taken some sunscreen from those pigs. Yeah, a so little bit for them, a little bit for me, a little bit for them, a little bit for me. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, so we're going to feed these mashes that we made earlier. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's see if the squirrels got in there at all. Doesn't look like it. Nice, we did a good job today with that. We made that. Hmm. Would you eat it? Yeah, would you eat it? Yeah. Five bucks. I would. Eat it. Oh, I was gonna do it for free. <laughs> I really should have negotiated that. Where, where am I going? We are heading over to that beautiful black horse right over, you can grab that green one. Right, who's looking at us right now. She knows, she knows it's time. Do I just slide her right down there? Nope, you just kind of put it right in front of her face. Oh, and she just eats right from here? Yep. Carla's talking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, it is. He wants yes. breakfast. He does. Awesome. Good job. And then she's going to eat this mash, so you're going to hook it on this pole here. And then we're going to go give the rest to the other two horses. Okay. This one is for Darla, and then we're going to put it over at this mat over here. So when they get messy and it falls on the ground, they just eat it off the mat instead of the dirt. Nice. Same and place? The last one's for Joanne. She eats. She eats at the end over here. Joanne's beautiful. She's gorgeous. She's the shyest of the horses, so you kind of like feel real special if you gain her love. You can hook it on just the top of that wooden rail up there. All right. There you go, Jojo. Wow, I just think horses are great. Horses are wonderful, they're magical. Okay, next is gonna be their hay. Are we going back into the big hay? Going hay? in the oh. hoop house. Does we're gonna give Honky tonk? tonk his mash, and then we're gonna go into the hoop house. All right, Honky, it's time, it's time. Too low or is it one up? Nope, that's perfect. Wow. Wow. All right, we had a little bit of a mishap yesterday where the, uh, the cows Got in? Got, got, they got in here and made a little bit of the mess with the hay, so it's a little bit messy right now. A flake of orchard to each of the horses. Cool. Estimate three flakes. All right. Three, three of those. This is... <laughs> and then they also get Timothy hay, which is this next one over. Okay. They get one flake of Timothy, so we'll estimate this as a flake. This okay. will work. Cool. And then they get one flake of alfalfa. Which, which is, is uh, all the way at the end? Yummy. And then we're gonna wheel this in and start putting wheel it in the it hay out, boxes. Babe. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, happy boy. So they eat in these hay boxes. So we're basically gonna divvy up all the hay between these three boxes. Okay. And then they're like slow feeders. So they have grates on the top and they just eat through the grates. So mm -hmm. we're gonna put like one flake of orchard in each of the boxes. Okay. So there's that. So then you're gonna wanna start breaking that up. Here, do you want to bring her over there while I 
at this. Zoe! No, she's distracted now. She's got the mother load right there. So yeah. She's not going anywhere. Why would she want this? <laughs> so yeah, we make sure everything's all broken up and kind of mix it together. And then we'll put this grate on top. All right, one hay box done, two to go. All right, so then we're gonna go back over to this we'll mat keep over her at here. Back. Oops, Hi, darling. Moi. My bad. Hi, nope, you're good. Oh, you scare me and a little bit. Here. Oh, Darla's going over there. Okay, so that goes through this slot ah. here. Yeah. There, there you go. go. Ah. Ah. Oh, wait. <laughs> Hold it on. I can't mix it. What are you doing? You came here, you come here to look at me or you came here to work? You're everywhere. How am I supposed well, to get in Well, get in here. <laughs> I'm just doing my job and you're just standing around looking pretty. <laughs> Unbelievable. Why don't, you put, why don't you put that grate on, babe? Why don't you, why don't you get that? Fantastic! We've done it. Aren't they cool, Lucas? Uh, your only fear is horses. Your only fear is horses? Lucas doesn't like horses. Dude, stop. It's his biggest fear. You if you want to defeat Lucas Eubank, get a horse. Dude, Ride up on him. He's very small. You can trample him. All right. Well, that that seems to be the AM shift. Yep, that's the that's the the bulk of it. The yes. bulk of it. Thank you yep. so much, Brooke, again for for letting us come and, and say yeah, hi. Thank and you. And working. It is so much fun. So farmsanctuary.org. Yes, indeed. Correct. Mm -hmm. If you want to check out Farm Sanctuary, there mm -hmm. is how many locations? Two. There's two locations here in Acton, 45 minutes north of LA, and over in Watkins Glen, New York, which is in the Finger Lakes region of New York. <laughs> Butt. <laughs> but yeah, we're open every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday throughout the summer for tours. Mm -hmm. So come on by, please go online and schedule a tour. And we'd love to see as many faces here as possible. Awesome. And then if people want to go the next step, do you guys accept volunteer work? We currently? are currently in the process of reopening our, our volunteer program. Up. Cool. So be on the lookout on our website for that too. Wonderful. Awesome. Yeah. And then as well on the website, uh, I can't remember, is there a link to donate to Farm Sanctuary to just help um, out with everything? Absolutely, yes. Great. That should not be hard to uh, to, to find on our website. And cool. That's nice. much appreciated. Awesome. Yeah, so if you cool. want to go to farmsanctuary.org, you can learn more about the amazing work that they do here. And also, if you've got some bucks to spare, definitely toss it uh, their way. What was, your, what was your favorite part today? The horses. Anything with horses. And then sunscreening the, the pigs, which mm -hmm. felt like a prank for both us and the pigs. Yep. It was just a fun time all around. It was a good time all around. Yeah. Um, yeah, thank, well, thank, you, thank you so much for yeah. your help. Yeah, I hope that we didn't slow down your day too much. Yeah, not at all. Um, but sure. thank you so much for letting us come and help out. It's, yeah. it's so much fun. Anytime. Yeah. Well, sweet. Yeah. Is there anything that you want to shout out um, about Farm Sanctuary or anything that you're working on or whatever? Um, I just probably just like peace, go veg. Kind of oh, would sweet. be my would okay. be my, my tagline there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Even though I did kind of steal it from somebody, I think. But <laughs> um, yeah, no, I think that just, it's important for everybody if they can to come and meet a farm animal because it's life changing. If you've never met a farm animal be before, you really should because um, yeah. they're all so 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 sweet and each of them have individual personalities and. Uh, we'd love to have you guys here to meet them. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, and again, make sure to go down in the description down below, farmsanctuary.org, and check out everything. Uh, and if you're in either New York or the LA-ish area, come on by for real. For real, for real. For real, for real. Sweet. Cut to the B-roll montage. Mm -hmm.